Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says his country will reassess its ties with the United Nations. Now, this comes after the Security Council adopted a resolution demanding an end to Israeli settlement building on occupied Palestinian land. It passed after Israel's traditional ally, the United States, abstained, breaking with long-standing practice. Mr Netanyahu also praised Donald Trump. Now, he suggested that he'll reverse America's position on the issue at the UN after his ignoration. The decision that was taken at the UN yesterday was part of the swan song of the old world biased against Israel. We are entering a new era. And as the US president-elect Trump said yesterday, this is going to happen much quicker than people think. Well, the passing of that resolution has been celebrated by Palestinians, as our Middle East correspondent Yolan Nell explains. Here in Bethlehem, there's a festive mood outside the Nativity Church, but many Palestinians feel they have an extra reason to celebrate after this UN Security Council resolution, which said that Israeli settlements are a flagrant violation of international law. It's been welcomed by all the different Palestinian political factions and they're hoping that it will strengthen their legal case when they pursue action against Israel in the international courts. For its part, Israeli officials have come out and said that this is a disgraceful, shameful resolution. And the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said that he will not abide by its terms. There are more than 600,000 Israelis who live in settlements in the occupied West Bank and East Jerusalem. That's on land that Israel captured in the 1967 Middle East War. And the US really feels that at the UN Security Council it was betrayed by its closest ally, the US, which usually uses its veto power to block any resolution that's critical of it. Now it's looking to President-elect Donald Trump for a lot more support. He's already come out on Twitter saying that things will be different after January the 20th, which is, of course, when he takes office. Yolande Nell there.